let's have a conversation. Just because you're meeting with an orthopedic surgeon doesn't mean you're committing to a surgery. You're right. just hearing their perspective on things from a different viewpoint, from a different background and training than what I do. And there's nothing wrong with that. You should get as many opinions as yeah. you want in order to feel comfortable. The second thing I always say is any intervention that we do medically, whether that's a pill, physical therapy, surgery, injection, you always have to weigh the risks versus the benefits. Nothing is completely benign and nothing is 100% foolproof. We always just have to talk about what are the risks and benefits of continuing these injections versus the risks and benefits of doing surgery versus the risks and benefits of doing nothing. And it's a conversation. This is where the new field of regenerative medicine really comes in. And it's an exciting field. I'm very optimistic about it, but the studies are mixed on it. And so when we talk about regenerative medicine, we're mainly talking about like PRP injection, platelet-rich plasma injections. The thought process is, well, there's an area of injury. What if we can take our own natural cells that will help heal an area of injury within our body, concentrate it down to what are called platelet-rich plasma and inject it into the area of injury? It's really helpful at least in my opinion. However, the studies on it are so broad and a mixed bag. And there's a couple of reasons why the studies I think are mixed. I do think it's helpful. I think that in theory, it could be really helpful. And in practice, I've seen it be very helpful. It doesn't necessarily work for everybody, but I think it's a great alternative if you really want to avoid surgery. The problem is that because the studies are mixed and it's not approved by insurance, so it is all out of pocket. If it was approved by insurance, I'd probably be using it first line for everybody because there's, there's yeah. really no major side effects. Like when you introduce a corticosteroid or a medication by mouth, it's your own natural body's products. All we're doing is basically putting it into a centrifuge, spinning it down, and then reintroducing it into you. The reason why I tend not to go for it as a first line is purely monetarily because it's not covered by insurance.